Once again, Old Brick Gardens brings you blooming butterflies. This has been going on for many years and a wonderful opportunity to learn all about the beautiful insects. Here to tell us a little bit more from Old Brick Gardens, Sharon Seibar. Good morning to you, Sharon. Good morning, Amy. Now, this is always a fabulous summer event, especially for children to come and learn all about butterflies. For those who aren't familiar, can you describe what they're going to see? Well, we will see live butterflies, but first when you walk in the lobby, you see a huge display of butterflies from all over the world. And then you go inside our tropical conservatory, which is just like walking through the tropics, and you'll see butterflies flying around. You'll also get to see butterflies emerging from the chrysalis, mm -hmm. which is an opportunity that a lot of people don't have, to see them em actually emerge and start to fly. And they daily this happens, right? Every day you'll see them emerging or hanging to dry. They mm -hmm. have to hang to dry. Um, we we get shipments twice a week from butterfly farms down in Florida and Alabama of these little chrysalises and uh, you can see them every day. And now to make this more entertaining too for kids as if that's not entertaining enough you have a special identifying chart so they can see they can look for particular kinds. Right and we get shipments twice a week so you'll see all these different types of butterflies at different times during the event and you can take this little guide around and see how many you can find the day that you're there. And now, are there particular places where the butterflies like to be or land? Um, they do like, we bring in some special nectar plants. Obviously, we have flowers in mm -hmm. there year-round, but we have a lot more butterflies. So we bring in some uh, nectar plants that are on some of the terraces, and uh, you can look for them there. They also like sunny spots. They're solar-powered, so they like to gather where it's sunny. And there's also another aspect of this, that once you're done inside, you can continue the fun outside. Right, we have the butterfly passport for kids, and uh, families and adults can take this through the gardens. And there are different places that you can stop in the outdoor gardens. You answer a little question, uh, mark it with a stamp, and at the end, you can get a free cone from Michael's Frozen Custard. But you have to make it through all the different stops. Yes, and answer the little question. And it's a wonderful way to introduce kids to the gardens because they're looking for something in particular, and then also learning at the same time. Yeah, you can learn about the relationship between butterflies and plants and how important all these are in our in our world. Now, is there an extra cost to come to Blooming Butterflies, Sharon? Yeah, there is a, a fee, not for the outdoor gardens, they're always free, but sure. there is a fee to uh, get in to see uh, the butterflies this time of year. And it's open every day, right? 10 until 4? Every day, 10 to 4. Okay, and it starts July 16th, coming up. And runs through August? August 10th. Okay, so yeah. you've got a couple weeks to get out there. We do. And we have two new butterflies this year. Oh, that's right. Tell yeah. us about those. This is really exciting. We haven't had any new butterflies for a few years. We always look for the right kinds. Um, there's the red spotted purple, which is kind of a bluish purple, mm -hmm. and the question mark, which is a bright orange. And they actually feed on rotting fruit. So we'll have some of that down at the lower level. So you'll be able to observe them up close. And this is also something you could do in your yard at home to look for butterflies. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, a great opportunity to uh, teach the kids a little something while they don't even know it <laughs> and also to observe some beautiful butterflies. Thanks so much, Sharon. Thanks, Amy.